what we're going to do in this video is just kind of break off uh, how we're setting this up. So right now, if I just start typing some stuff in, it immediately pops up right here. It's not quite what I want. I want to start typing some stuff in like, you know, uh, gotta get groceries. I hope I spelled that right. Uh, gotta get groceries. And then I want to click add to do and then it pops up. I don't want it to just pop up immediately. So we're going to kind of fix that in this lesson here. So uh, I am going to <laughs> fix my little uh, ES6 problem. So I, I'm going to change this to do to simply say text up here. And then I'm going to just get rid of that to do part. So um, this is ES6 magic. This is uh, I'm, I'm setting the state of text to the, the text that's getting passed through. So, you know, if I re-ran this, it's going to be working the same, oh, almost the same way. Um, if I change this to text real quick, real quick, let me just show you. It'll work the same way as before, where uh, whatever I type in is popping up there. Now, um, I do want to show you here how you can just hit that add to do button and it'll magically... Uh, display on screen what you want. The first thing you got to do is you got to add in another key value pair inside the state. This one we are going to call to do and we'll set this equal to some uh, just like some um, quotes, not, nothing in there. Um, and we're going to add in on this button an on press, uh, on press prop. So on press basically says anytime somebody presses on this component right here, we want something to happen. Now, you can pretty much put on presses on almost any component, and anytime you tap it on screen, something will happen. Um, on press is a pretty generic prop inside of React Native. So, you know, whenever you want something, you know, something to happen whenever you tap something on the screen, you use the on press um, uh, prop function. So on press, we want to run a specific function, and we're going to call this function uh, this dot add to do, just like that. Uh, now we have to declare that function, otherwise this won't really run properly. We're going to say uh, add to do right above the render function. So we're going to create our own function. We're going to create an ES6 function, which basically basically just means we write it a little bit differently. So we're going to say add to do is equal to um, a function, just like this. So we're going to open it up with some some uh, parentheses, arrow, and then we got our curly braces there. So whatever we write in here will be run anytime somebody clicks on that button. And what we want to have happen in here is we're just going to say this dot set state and we're going to set the state of the to do equal to whatever is inside of this react native text. So let's just kind of break this down exactly what's going to happen. So I'm the user. I'm going to go up to uh, this text input and I'm going to start typing some stuff in, right? I'm going to start typing whatever my message is in and it's going to change this text right here. Now this text Oops, we've got to change that to, to do. This text is not going to be displayed on screen because right now this text is displaying to do, which has nothing in it, right? But once we hit that button, so we hit on press, we want to run the function called add to do. And then that add to do function is going to set the state of to do equal to this dot state dot uh, text, which is equal to this message right here. Okay? So Hopefully, you kind of follow that that chain that chain message there a little bit, um, and uh, yeah, I guess you know what I'll I'll go ahead and just save this and we'll run it right now. So I'm going to start typing some things in. I'm going to say um, my let's see, uh, walk the dog, walk the dog, gotta walk the dog. So that's what I have to do. Once I click add to do, you're gonna see walk the dog pops up exactly where we wanted it to. One more time, I'll run through. So we change the text because on change text we change the text right so it says walk the dog instead of you know this is our screen and I could actually change this to nothing now um, and then I hit the button so run the add to do function on press and then this function is setting the state of to do instead of equal to just you know nothing equal to whatever we have inside of here okay and then it's setting it down here when the component re-renders all right, so uh, pretty, you know, cool little simple 
way to, to get into how React works with state. Now I will say, before this video ends, this is extremely important, so make sure you pay attention. You cannot do this. So notice I have this set state thing. So this dot state uh, dot text, or sorry, sorry, like instead of writing this dot state, set state to do, I'll say this dot state dot to do is equal to this dot state dot text. Now this kind of looks the same, doesn't it? We're setting equal this state to do equal to this dot state dot text. This is almost the same thing as this set state function, right? I mean, if anything, this is probably better to write out since it's smaller than this, you know, written out right here. But you cannot do this. This will. This is called mutating the state, and it is very bad. You don't want to do it. Do not do it. Um, every single person who writes React components will sell you not to do it. Do not do it this way. Anytime you want to change something in the state, you always have to say this dot set state and call that function. Okay? You cannot just simply set things equal. You can't mutate the state that way. All right, so uh, no more fear mongering. We're going to go on to the next video here. Um, I'm just going to save that up and you'll see it re renders on the page. So uh, see you in the next video.